Hello everyone making another video this time to speak about something a little bit upsetting which is um, some bad news for England. I asked the Lord to show me what was going to happen or if he had any message for me and he showed me this vision about um, England. So the vision was very short, as usual, all visions are. But the thing is that the visions give you a lot of insight through the, what you feel uh, from the visions. And also, you know, the things that you can perceive as well um, from what is being shown to you by the visions. Um, and the good thing about the visions is is that you can see, mostly feel, you know, everything from every perspective and from everyone that is involved or everything that is involved in the visions. Um, so the vision was saying that there's going to be an increase of no-go zones by the Muslim community, no-go zones or no-go no areas. It's going to be an increase of that. Um, I don't know if anyone is, you know, commonly used to with that, you know, um, I'm going to say with that expression. Um, but no-go areas, uh, it's areas that is only mainly for that community. It's not. It's for. It's it's any. Um. It's prohibited. Um. To go in those areas if you're not a Muslim. Um. So yeah, it's gonna be an increase of no-go areas by the Muslim community in England. And um, the reasons why. Those, of those increase. Um. I could perceive from two different angles, from the aggressive Muslims and from the uh, passive Muslims. So from the Mus uh, aggressive Muslims, what they had in mind in their hearts was, we want to take over and this is why we're doing this. But from the Muslim, the passive Muslims, what they had in mind and in hearts was, you know, we're not getting along very well, so we're just going to stay in this area for us and you stay with the rest of it. Uh, we're just going to have these areas for ourselves and then you you stay with the other side. Um, pretty much kind of like a separation. Um, but the results of it wasn't good at all and it was a lot of chaos. Um, I saw a lot of, um, mostly the people I could see was from white, um, British people, more British or English people, um, mostly males, um, attacking back and more so, um, in the areas where, um, the, the Muslim community was in minority, so they were trying to do the same thing back as a revenge, um, telling them to leave. It showed me um, a house, a window, and from outside of, from inside of this window, inside of the house, was a Muslim family. I saw a woman sitting in a ch uh, in a in a table, no, in t in a chair, but at the table. And I also saw a, ma a man, and he was, and I also saw some children there too. Um, the woman was just, the expression in her face was just despair. She didn't know what to do, but it was more than despair. It was like, I don't know what to explain the best word to describe it, but she was just, she didn't know what to do. She was just absolutely hopeless, you know, absolutely hopeless, you know, 
and from outside of that window that house um there was like um loads of non um non muslims mostly um i don't i didn't feel any godly background from them i don't believe that they were either christians i don't think so even though they might call the they not really you know real christians you know really follower of jesus i didn't feel any love i didn't feel any thing in their heart but hatred you know we we can't allow this to happen this is our country this is our land you know this is all i could perceive in their hearts you know when you people need to go back to your own countries back to your own areas or more so back to your own countries okay this is all i could perceive in their hearts there was a lot of hatred you know was a lot of um you know sense of we want to revenge we want to take control back of our countries of our country um yeah and there was a lot of despair there was in the muslim family inside of the house was absolutely the man was absolutely i could feel fear in his heart i could perceive the fear i could f- also perceive you know um him wanting to you know to stand for his family but not being he didn't know what to do he just didn't know what to do he just felt like he had to you know stand as a man for his family but he was also scared and the woman was at the table she was like alive but she was lifeless she wouldn't she didn't make one single move she was just that static you know um she didn't make a move she was just absolutely in desolation that's what i could feel from her heart what can i say about all this we're living in the, the last days i mean it's just it's disgusting that we showing a hatred for one another i don't say this one is right or this one is wrong okay it's not right that we in my opinion i don't see there is right what i was shown the first from the muslim community of increasing the no go areas or no go zones it's not right because this country is a country that accepted all people from all backgrounds i don't believe that anyone has the right to do that okay but also it's not right that we you know turn to other people that have nothing to do with that either you know because they are from the same religious backgrounds or the same racial backgrounds you know what i mean um it's complicated but unfortunately this world is just been living in breathing eating drinking of hatred you know and it's really sad really sad because at the end of the day this will affect every single one of us financially because england had turned to chaos i could see like the environment was pretty much like um rioting um sort of chaos okay and it's going to affect everything at the end of the day you know the financial life of the country the economical life of the country i mean um which will affect every single one at the end of the day you know and it's upsetting that people can't live in peace with one another and because hatred see only being brings um destruction you know this is why again god is a creator why because he loves you know everyone who loves also is and has the capacity of constructing and creating things you know for for the sake of everyone but everyone who also hates um has the ability of destroying things you know so this is again why we should love show love for one another okay um and follow the steps of the one who we call our 
God, yeah, and that we claim to be a servant of, okay? So I pray that we won't have any hatred in our hearts, no matter what, we have, we won't have any hatred in our hearts, and that, you know, we just need to keep praying a lot, because it's just upsetting, it, it's just heartbreaking to see mankind self destroying itself you know what i mean um it's sad it's sad that we can allow you know hatred in our hearts at the point of we not even caring of the consequences of that you know that we get so driven by hatred at that point you know but i pray that we servants of god will be faithful to the lord and to the lord's way till the end in jesus name um, I pray. Amen. Bye-bye.